Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagabber Backpacking, and today we're taking another look at my Dream Hammock Sparrow. Now this is a little bit of a follow-up video to the video where we're out on the Eagle Rock Loop, and Chris, beekeeper, and I did a comparison of the three hammocks. Now one of the things that we had mentioned was that the Sparrow of the three hammocks, the XLC, the Chameleon, and the Sparrow, the Sparrow was the one that lacked some of the features, some of the storage options, that made the options kind of lean towards the Chameleon and the XLC. I've had a chance to send my Sparrow back. Randy, Papa Smurf, and the family at Dream Hammock have gone ahead and made some changes to my Sparrow, and I want to show you guys what we've got here. So let's go. So when I posted that last video, I had a lot of comments of people saying, you know, there are other options, other things that Randy and Dream Hammock have done up that you did not have included on yours that would have made it a little bit fairer comparison. And those things were the Peak Loft and the Gear Sling. So I went ahead, I purchased a Gear Sling, I sent my hammock back and had Dream Hammock add in the Peak Loft. I still have the Peak Bags on here. So let's take a look. Let's peel back the, uh, the bug net and take a look at what I had added. So this is my Dream Hammock Sparrow. And when we went out on the last trip, I had the peak bags, which you can see right here. But you can see based on the size of my hand, it's not a very big pocket. It's something you could shove, you know, a ghost whisperer or some gloves, a hat, some other things up in. But they're actually, they're kind of difficult to get to and when you pull them down, they cinch up and so it's harder to get things out of them. They do have a mitten hook up at the top, you can see right here. And so you can disconnect it and then get things out of it, put it back up. Also, I had the Dream Hammock Ridgeline Organizer. It's got six pockets on it, three on either side. Works really well, it's made of the mesh so it's super light. What I went ahead and had added were two things. First is the gear sling. Now this gear sling is pretty cool. It's got quite a bit of room in it and you can use it as just like a gear loft or you can pack things into it. It has cinches on either side. So if I was to open up the cinch on one side, let's take a look at this. If I open this all the way up, on the end, you can see it hangs down pretty good. And now you can reach inside and you could shove stuff up in there from this way. Or you tighten it up and it's got the zipper on the top and you can unzip it, shove stuff in, and then it's gonna be secure all night long. So the gear sling comes with some loops of shock cord which you can press it onto your ridge line and then it has these little clips that just clip onto it. Now the cool thing that you can do is unclip both of them and then you've got this gear sling that is kind of free free standing that you can come outside and then clip it onto your continuous loop or your suspension and have gear that you want to access outside without unzipping your hammock and so now you've got an area you can just kind of get into leave it hanging outside when you're ready to go in for the night zip it up throw it back up on the loops that you leave attached to your ridge line. Cool option. Right here you can see the gear sling next to the ridge line organizer and just see how much bigger it is. And if you were to really pull this so you could see how wide, how much volume is inside of there, you can really get a lot inside of this bad boy. And then it also becomes kind of a, uh, a little storage bag that you could throw stuff in and carry in your, your backpack without having to worry about it. Now the other piece that I went with is on this end, and it is the gear shelf or the peak shelf. And so it just kind of uh, slides onto your ridge line. It's sewn into the sides, and it's got quite a bit of room here. So you could take a jacket, a small quilt, extra clothes, throw it up in here. I've got it on the head end, so my head would be right over here. 
lay in here i can reach up in grab stuff out of here and so that gives another storage option that i did not have prior and you can see it's a uh, it's up there and it's got a pretty good amount of storage that's easy to access from inside the hammock so i've got to say i love working with these cottage gear manufacturers that we've got in the hammock industry every time i have something go on going on where i need an adjustment I need something added. They've been completely awesome to work with. Give them a call, say, hey, you know, I know I did not order this when I bought the hammock, but I'm thinking now it's probably something that I want. And every time, every one of them have been more than accommodating, super gracious, and willing to do whatever it takes to make me, the customer, happy. So I purchased this one. I didn't have a couple of the things that I wanted didn't have the gear loft so it went ahead and uh, got that done so here you can see it's it's easily accessible will fit a lot of stuff up in there easily a jacket easily a, a smaller quilt a bunch of gear if there's you know long john something you know that you may want thermal underwear in the middle of the night but you're, you're kind of warm right now even the smaller quilt stuff it up in here I've got the uh, gear sling up here got the ridgeline organizer still room for my hang time hook that I'll put up right here and it just makes for a very organized hang where I can really just have all my stuff in here with me ready to go I can throw you know quite a bit of stuff into this if I wanted to open up the end here so that it's real easy to just reach inside and grab stuff uh, can kind of see in there what's in there or if there's stuff that I don't want it falling out, want it a little bit more secure, cinch that up, use the zipper. I can have the zipper open while I'm laying in here because the weight of the stuff is going to hang down there. Great options. I like the little ridgeline organizer. It's great for sticking smaller things in, having it organized, being able to see exactly what's there. So guys, I think this evens it out a little bit as far as storage goes. Is it as as lofty and as as grand as the uh, the sidecar or the shelf no but it sure does add a lot of functionality to an already awesome hammock and it was the hammock that we all felt was the most comfortable so adding a little bit more versatility to it is nothing but a good thing all right guys well i am going to go ahead and lay here a little while enjoy what has been an absolutely amazing beautiful weekend and just uh relax a little bit before i've got to go back to work this week so i will see you guys down the trail <laughs>